My name is Liza Donnelly. I'm a cartoonist and writer, and I work for The New Yorker, The New York Times, Politico, CBS News, and many other places. a cartoonist when I was a little girl and I wanted to help change the world frankly and so I started drawing and it was my way to communicate with others since I was very shy and when I got older uh, I found that I could use my cartoons to um, talk about issues that were important to me. Everybody around the world loves cartoons so they're drawn to the imagery you know it brings them back to their childhood so you have their attention and then you can do what you want with it do cartoons about politics and gender stereotypes, and I try to use my cartoons to show people what's going on, demonstrate things in the cartoons that maybe they hadn't noticed before. They'll look at the cartoon, you know, expecting to laugh, and they'll go, well, that's funny, but I just experienced that last week. It points at the little things in life that we, we need to change, because I feel helping change relations between men and women or gender relations, you need legislation, but you also need cultural changes. You need people to behave differently. And I think that's where cartoons can show people uh, about their behavior. And, you know, if you do it with laughter, it, it helps them with the difficult pill that they have to take. One thing I like to do is when there's something in the news, when I sense there's something in the news that is global, that is touching a nerve on everybody around the world, I, I really try hard to do a cartoon about it. I feel like I want to be a part of the conversation. And that was true when the, the Me Too movement started. I did a cartoon of a enormous group of women of different races, different ethnic backgrounds. And they're all saying in one big, huge bubble on top, saying Me Too, hashtag Me Too. It's a cartoon that is simple and strong to indicate that this Me Too subject is global. It applies to everybody. About 10 years ago, I was invited to be a part of a group of cartoonists from around the world to come speak at the UN. And since then, Cartooning for Peace has become a global endeavor. Cartooning for Peace helps show the world the positive side of cartooning, that it can be a force for dialogue and communication and understanding one another. Women have not felt the confidence to express their opinions. They've not been encouraged by the culture. We need the support, we need the encouragement, we need the confidence to speak up about issues that are important to us. I mean, I'm, I've been in the business 40 years, so I've been watching the changes happen from when I was in my 20s, when there were hardly any women cartoonists, to now there's, there's many, there's many. So I'm seeing the change happen over the course of my career, and it's really wonderful. Mm -hmm.